Hi everyone, yes I know I'm late again, uh, I got called into work early today so I didn't get a chance to do my videos, <clears throat> but seeing as I'm here, I'm going to do them now, get them out of the way. So uh, we're doing Superhero right now, and with this one, this is an interesting one to me, um, because with Guardians of the Galaxy, there was no love interests, there was no romance going on there, there was a brief little flirtation, but Gamora quickly shut that down, so... Uh, Guardians is one of the few Marvel movies where we really don't have like a love story or a romance going on. Uh, a couple of the other ones where that happens, it's um, Winter Soldier that happens. Even though there's former love interest and a bit of flirtation, that doesn't come to fruition until Civil War. So Winter Soldier, that happens. Um, Angel Ultron and Avengers, Tony Stark's already in a relationship at that point, and that's not a key factor of the film. So both the Avenger movies, um, <clears throat> give me one second, I'm trying to think. I know, there was, I know there was one there because I was thinking of it earlier. Uh, oh, I'm blanking, I'm blanking. Um, maybe, that, maybe those were it, but point is, um, the Guardians of the Galaxy didn't do that. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, I think, might be different because, first off, they're focusing, one of the focuses is on family. Family is a big part of this uh, sequel coming up because we're dealing with uh, the true parentage of Peter Quill, him, you know, being the son of a planet. Uh, probably going to be dealing with uh, some of the other members' parentage and family and them being the family themselves, introduction, introducing new members to the family with Mantis is being brought in. Uh, Ronan's being added to the roster. Might have a few other ones. Uh, you know, Gamora's relationship with her sister, uh, Nebul Nebutal, uh, Nebulol. Uh, one second, what's that girl? What's that character name? <laughs> I, I couldn't remember her uh, name when we did the review all those years ago. Uh, but that is well. While I'm doing that, that is weird to say now. All those years ago that I've been doing this channel now, going on, going on. Jesus, three years I've been doing this channel. Wow, where did this where did this time go? Um, but let's see. Uh, Nebu, 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 Nebu. Uh, oh yeah, okay, there he is. Just she is. There's the character's name. Ah, where did you go? Nebula, Nebula. Really, Nebula? Okay, it was Nebula. <clears throat> Point being, uh, we know she'll be back. So. Right there, relationships are going to be playing a big factor into the movie. And the question is, and the question I posed in the title is, is will Peter Quill actually have a love interest in the movie? Now, this is not a question normally that would bring uh, I bring up, because normally there's some sort of romance going on in the movie, some sort of love sto uh, minor love story, whatever. And most of the time, it's just kind of throwaway for the plot, unless they're going to be showing up. Yeah, Tony Stark and Pepper are a prime example of where it's an exception. Um, <clears throat> and... In the first Guardians of the Galaxy, based off that, you'd think, no, he's probably not going to. But the teaser trailer they've dropped kind of makes me think at least a little otherwise. And the reason I say that is um, <clears throat> there's literally a conversation between him, the conversation him and Drax are having about, you know, Drax and Tars, you know, they're in this universe, there are those who dance and those who do not. I get it. Gamora's a dancer. I'm a dancer and Gamora's not, which implies that, and I just mean implies it is you just need to find a woman who is pathetic like you um, and it's all funny but it implies and i'm just this is what i'm getting it implies that since the events of the him and um since the events of the first guardians of the galaxy then going on the adventures maybe he's tried to get uh maybe he's tried to get not necessarily a kit on or anything like that, but flirted and maybe tried to attempt a relationship with gamora and it just hasn't worked he, she hasn't like um she hasn't welcomed anything she had or she just doesn't care or she's not interested things along those lines and kind of you know bums about but whatever um so i do wonder if he'll have a love interest now we know mantis is being added to the roster she's going to be introduced as far as i remember with mantis and i think she might have i know she's gotten phys she's physically enhanced but she might also have um uh some psychic abilities or telepathic abilities let me double check on that um Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Volume, Volume 2. Alright, Mantis, 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 Mantis. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Okay, Mantis. Okay. Uh, abilities. 
Grand Master Martial Art guys, a martial artist, and she actually she essentially looks at least in the picture I got here looks like Gamora but with antenna. Uh, empath, she's empath, she has empathy. Uh, mm, she's an empath, plant manipulation, healing factor, astral projection, ability to uh, communicate telepathically with Kotati, Kotati, whatever Kotati is. Uh, point being, she's a uh, she's got a wide variety of abilities. She's got some telepathic abilities too. What, whether she has those or not in the movie remains to be seen. But uh, so it's very possible, maybe assuming that maybe he gets a love interest in this movie, that Mantis might be the love interest. Or the idea I had was, and it's an interesting idea that him and Gamora will actually end up together by the end of the movie. What it could be is that he starts maybe trying a different relationship with someone else, someone like Mantis. Maybe Mantis joins the group, but she's like a double agent for ego or something like that and doesn't work out. And Gamora feels jealousy for the first time. It's like, what? what's... Okay, yeah. It's, it's like, no, it doesn't bother me. No, it doesn't bother me. No. And she maybe just like cuts off the head of a statue at one point. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. So I see that could be a possibility. Um, because, I mean, there's camaraderie. There's definitely camaraderie. There's respect between all of them. Uh, whether or not uh, there's actual any hint of romance or actual attraction between them, we know he's attracted to her. If, if it's beyond physical attraction in terms of you know, um, you know, sexually attra sexual attraction and like actual romantic attraction, that's remains to be seen. But who knows? It could very well be. Uh, I do. I actually do kind of dig the theory that because it, it's. It's character progression, not just for Peter Quill, but for Gamora as well. Her experiencing actual feeling, like romantic feeling for someone, something she hasn't felt probably ever, given you know her upbringing through Thanos and all that. So I think it'd be very interesting to see them go that route. And let's, uh, and again, I don't think. Um, whoa, sorry. Where was I going with that? I knew what I wanted to say. Hold on. No, I, assuming that this he does get a love interest, but maybe Mantis isn't it. I don't see Nebula, uh, Nebula. I don't see Nebula being uh, the love interest, just because unless it's like some really weird um, moment in the movie, like where she just suddenly turns and she suddenly finds herself attracted to Quill, and so maybe she tries to make her sister jealous or something like that. <laughs> um, so I can't say for certain. I obviously don't know. I haven't seen the movie. The movie doesn't come out until May, so we got a while before that. That being said, we only got about six months before that, so we really don't have as long as you may. I mean, we still got half a year, but in the grand scheme of things, not as long as you may think. Hell, Logan comes out in four months. Um, no other superhero movies come out any earlier than that, though. So, I mean, unless you count Lego Batman 2 in February. But uh, anyway, we got plenty of movies to talk about before then. Anyway, yeah, that's that's my thoughts on that. I think he will have a love interest, and I would like to see them actually turn. It turns out to be Gamora in the end, and they actually expand her character with actual romantic interests. Not not that it needs to happen. I just think that that's what's going to happen. And if they do give the movie at least some sort of romantic an angle in some way for Peter Quill, who I again among the all of them, him and Gamora are the ones I'd likely see to have romantic uh, subplots. If that were the case, and they go that route, which I think they probably will in some fashion, I would like him to see him and Gamora possibly end up together because I think, honestly, you know, it would be they'd be a good match for each other to expand some things, expand her character beyond just you know the warrior, but with with a good part, heart and things along those lines, the damage warrior and Peter Quill, who is the kind of the boy trapped in the man's body a little bit. So I think it'd be really cool to see them go that route. Um, but who knows? It could happen. It could not. Uh, thanks for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you would like us to review something, put it in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review, us, review of it at some point. Ideas for who wins, what ifs, put those in the comments below, too. I do get to those. I put them on the list. I save them. Um, I'll be back in a little bit with the magic video today. Magic video is going to be interesting. Not really because of the topic, though. It is kind of interesting because I made a really nice thumbnail. At least I consider it a nice thumbnail. It's probably actually a pretty crappy thumbnail in the long scheme of things, but I made it all by myself. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you folks next.